Hey Aquarius, I'm back. I'm sorry I had to take a hiatus for personal reasons, but I'm back with you guys now uh, for good. I've missed you guys like crazy, um, but I do want to let you know that this time I am doing extended readings. So if this reading does resonate with you, um, you might want to check it out. I'll put it in the link, the description link down below, and we're going to find out a little more about your person using the sacred soulmate cards, the romance angel cards, what action they're going to take and get some more, uh, in-depth details of what they're doing. Okay. So let's start. Okay. Um, my Aquarius is, oh gosh, I love you guys so much. Okay. We have the sun strength empowerment card for your yin yang oracle along with until debt tear is tear us apart contracts i can't speak somebody might be jumbled up uh contracts career and commitment okay so clearly there's something that you guys want to jump on uh make a decision about but you're stuck in a different in another situation in regards to career stuck at a job or stuck in a commitment um, that uh, possibly even legally, you know, you'd have to figure your way out of in order to get to your person. Let's see what the overall is here. The Empress card. That's a good one. So overall here I see new beginnings, right? Standing on your own two feet is what I just heard. Standing on my own two feet being my own person, right? Um, this is about abundance, being yourself, flowing in the Empress energy of being that wonderful, beautiful, self-loving person and helping others as well, right? Uh, some of you also might be married or uh, be a mother. Um, I know a lot of you probably are mothers. All right, let's see uh, what the current situation is. What's going on here? The sun card might be dealing with a Leo. Or we also have a Gemini, might be dealing with Gemini as well. We have sun, king of swords, and knight of cups. Has someone professed their love to you? Has someone told you that you mean the world to them? That possibly... Hmm. Wow. We have the sun twice and this is really starting to make me feel like, yeah, empowerment here, right? We do it. Yes. Yeah, sun strength empowerment. We have the strength card as well, uh, with the empress. So <clears throat> empowerment is the empress, right? And she gets her abundance. She has plenty of sun plenty of strength within her to conquer all and do whatever she needs to do, right, to, it, to fulfill her. But this is telling me that either a Gemini, which I'm really feeling Gemini and Leo here, because we do have a sun and the King of Swords, but this King of Swords is standing out to me. So you know what this is telling me? Somebody that you're dealing with might be a little less emotional, but they might have let you know that you are the one that they've proposed to you, uh, not marriage, or it could be marriage. We do have commitment here, who knows, but they've proposed to you an idea of being together, uh, maybe one that they you can't jump on right away, right? It's something that maybe you truly want, but you can't make a move. Okay. But this person has made a move with their hearts, right? Although they've professed things to you, maybe they are not as warm at times. Um, they have let you know that you're, you're the only sun shining in their world, right? So tell me about this. I'm like, I don't know. I'm getting excited. Tell me about the sun card. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you might be dealing with a Leo. Sun, Knight of Wands. This person has a lot of passion for you, right? This person wants to 
you know, start doing things with you, making things happen. Tell me about the King of Swords. What's this King of Swords? Yeah, Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Ah, Three of Cups, Three of Wands. So here's the deal. This person <clears throat> may hurt your feelings every once in a while because not only are they maybe at a distance or you they may be in a commitment as well as you. Um, you know what I'm hearing? Like secrets. I'm hearing secret things. That's all I heard. Secret things. This might be a hidden relationship, although I don't have the cards for it, but you know, I listen to spirit. Three of cups, three of wands. This person also hurts. And uh, not only, okay, so let me break this down because I see a lot of little details and you know, of course it's for Aquarius. <laughs> We're very detailed. Okay. Um, a little eccentric, right? So let's just do this person first. I see two things here. So this person, they may be the way they come towards you, maybe cold, maybe a little bit you know, not as warm or romantic, right? But they tell you things that make it romantic. Does that make sense? <laughs> like they tell you things that are like, okay, so let me, let me, let me give you an example. This person may come up to you a lot and say with a, with a stone cold face and may say, you know, you, I only have eyes for you. You know, I only, and it's kind of like, uh, wait, what? But you're not showing, they're not showing the emotion to it. They're just being like, but they're saying their truth. You know, King of Swords speaks their truth. Three of Wands, Three of Cups. It's bothering you that there's distance, that, that you can't have that fulfillingness of being together. There might be a third party as well in the situation. We do have the threes here. Okay. From... That's from your perspective. From their perspective, it hurts them at the core that they can't physically be with you at the moment. It burns their, it burns them that they cannot have you the way that they want to in this moment. So how you guys know your situations, however it fits. But what I'm seeing here is you're dealing with a person. If you're, if you're a female watching this dealing with a male, that male, no matter how cold or distant they may seem when they talk or how they are, it bothers them to the core that they can't, you can't be theirs in this moment. There's something stopping both of you, uh, some kind of barrier and it bothers them. I mean, really bothers them. We have the three of swords with it. Some with the knight of cups. High priestess. I told you. This is a secret. But I but I know you know who it is. I know. You already know. Because it's showing me that they've already said stuff to you. They've already made it known. Right? This is a hidden relationship. And if it's not, it's something that is done in private. Okay? Some... When they speak to you, no one else knows about this. It's not very broadcasted that people know about this situation. Okay. Let's uh, see what you're up to in regards to this person. Uh, five of Wands, Ten of Swords, King of Cups. You are, it drives you crazy that this person holds back, like they'll give you enough to make you feel, how do I say this? Cause this is kind of complex. I, I'm not going to lie. Your reading's getting kind of complex. So this is how I see it. So the person is, no, I'm going to say it like this. You're kind of frustrated because this person will tell you, you know, maybe a little bit cold, say that, you know, you're there, you are the one for them. You 
are the only person that they see ever being with. But at the same time, like maybe an hour later, and if you work with this person, you know, that could be a for instance too. But maybe an hour later, you're like, wait, why aren't they confirming this with their actions? Why aren't they confirming this how I see it? Why are they holding back here with their heart? And then the person will turn around. This is like a for instance, um, I'm just showing you the complexity of this, will turn around and be like, well, I don't know why you're worried. I've already told you how I feel. You should just trust me and know that I care about you, but you want to see action. You want to see, this is frustration at the core, right? This has stressed you out and drove you crazy that this person does this, right? That this person kind of holds back. Okay, so I just heard, so some of you are like, this person knows what I want knows that I just want affirmations. I just want a confirmation every once in a while that, hey, I, lo I still love you. But they, why don't they do that? Okay, so let's see what they're doing right now, what they've been up to in regards to you. All right, we have World, Judgment, Ace of Cups, um, Eight of Swords. So they're stuck too. You both might be stuck in a situation um, or one, the person you're dealing with is stuck, but I see both here. So this person wants to give their all. It is killing them that they, they have decided that you are for them. So if you've ever doubted or wondered if they feel that way, don't doubt because this is clearly stating they have made that decision, world judgment. They know you are the one. That's it. They want to offer that cup, but they cannot at the moment. Like they want to start with you emotionally, but they're held back. Why are they held back here? Let's see. Emperor. They have duties of their own. They have... They could be a father, responsibilities, or they could be in a contract with a marriage, commitment. Could be something like that. Tell me about this emperor. Temperance. But they feel that you are their duty too. Do not mistake it. They do. I mean, look. This is how they see themselves, and this is how it's popping up. Now we have the emperor, empress, temperance. This is your divine counterpart. Let's see how they're feeling about you in the current moment. Let's see. Wow, I just heard you shine so bright. You shine so bright. Hold on. Okay, so I also heard... Every time you smile and you're in the room, it like literally glows. I know this sounds cliche, but this is what I'm hearing. Your smile, there's something about your smile. Oh, and your eye. Okay, the eyes and the smile. There's something about it that triggers this person. They feel lit up inside if they see you smile. They feel good about themselves if they see you smile. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Magician, Star Card. Yeah, you are the one. You are the one that can make anything possible here, right? They see you as this person that is also unattainable. Somebody that, okay. So I just heard too, they feel like they don't deserve you. Like maybe they're not good enough for you. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, they are fearful that they're not good enough for you. That maybe you're over here as the star and they're over here as the Page of Pentacles. Sorry. You're shining so bright, you know, doing your thing and they're over here as a page. And this is making them feel like, you know, a little fearful that they can... Um, 
come up to your level and give you what you need and what you deserve. Although they want it more than anything, and they're not going to stop till they get it. Here with the magician, <clears throat> magician card. Some of the magician. Yeah, four cups hermit. Same thing. They feel like they, uh, they're not sure if they're going to be able to meet your standards, come up to your level. Some of the star card. Yeah, queen of cups. They see you also, they feel like you're a very intuitive person. They feel like you have, um, you listen to your intuition a lot, uh, that you may know more than them. Uh, they might, they also feel like you, you're a very knowledgeable, intelligent person that can help them a lot, uh, in their life. So you might have helped them you know, periodically with certain questions and certain things. Um, but they feel like, oh, so, oh, so, okay. So I just heard, they feel like, that is so sweet. They feel like you're the only person that they've ever been able to call or talk to in their life that listens and helps them, you know, uh, they feel like anytime they speak to you, it's like if they have a problem in their life, they want to call you. They want to talk to you. It makes them feel better. I just heard it soothes their soul. It soothes their soul. Wow. You are really special to them. That's exactly what I'm seeing, what they feel about you. You're very special to them. Um, let's see what's transpiring between you two in the current moment. Two of swords, ace of pentacles, five of, five of pentacles. Nobody can make a move. Nobody's making a decision in the current moment. There's something that both of you want to jump on. Okay, an opportunity here. Tell me what the ace of pentacles. What is this? Queen of wands. Two of Cups. Yeah. You know what I see? Both of you want to be able to show the world that you are together. That you, that this is your person. Okay, I just heard that the uh, the person you're dealing with really has dreams even. Um, and, and constantly daydreams of being able to show you off, just walking down the street, being able to hold your hand or put their arm around you. There's something here of being able to show you guys off, you know, show off the connection, make it known to people that this is your person. Tell me about this five of pentacles. Oh, this is so sweet. Actually, this is really sweet. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. What's transpiring is both of you are sad and missing each other. So because you can't be with each other. This is something that you live with hour to hour, day by day. And you want it to change, you know. But nobody's making a move here. Tell me the Two of Swords. Yeah. It's like both of you feel like you can't have your happiness right now. No one can decide on making a move but it's because why can't no one make a move let's find out you know me i have to have details tower tell me about tower tower ace of wands king of pentacles because it would be something that would have to tear down old foundations tear down old contracts old ways of living did I just heard living? Uh, no, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to lie. I heard lifestyle change, um, which to me is living environments. Um, because we have the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands here. Um, so it's, this is just momentarily though. Okay. Because I do see with the tower here, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is what will really transpire this is ultimate stability this is taking a chance taking action towards becoming stable with each other secure with each other 
being able to count on one another and knowing that the other one is not going anywhere, that this is going to be something that you're going to build and it's not, it, it's not going to fall apart. It's not going to stop. Right. But there's other commitments and other things in, um, blocking things right now. Um, this Empress just keeps staring at me with the overall. I see now why the Empress is in the overall. They view you as somebody that is like, not just all knowing, but like so inspiring and so beautiful in, in so many ways. Tell me about the Empress card. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah. They can't have, they want, they want their wish, their dream to come true. They want their happiness, right? But they can't. It's like they are stuck at the nine. They can't get their Ten of Cups here. They can't get this because they're stuck at the nine. That's why we have the Empress. The main thing here is both of you want this new start to be grounded, to have, to be something so beautiful and organic and natural to grow together, you know, and not have to worry about other people, what they think, or, you know, people's, you know, people's opinions and what they might do in regards to you, any action they might take towards you. You don't want to worry about that. You just want to have it grow and be organic. Let me see what you're, I just want to see one last thing, what you're up to in regards to this person. I just want to find out one more time here where you're at. Because the main thing is you guys. You know, I want to make sure you guys are okay. Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding on to that dream, but you are, it's like you're keeping it close and nobody knows about it. You're just keeping it right in here. And, um, you know, it's not going anywhere, but you're holding, holding on to it. Page of Swords, Lovers. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Justice. What is fair for everyone involved here? Seven of Wands. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, page of cups, six of cups. It's like you want right now, you want to make that choice. You want to make that decision. But at the same time, you're like, is this person going to jump as well? If I, if we finally make the decision in both of our lives to, you know, tear down our old foundations, you know, the tower like whether it be we're both married and we both decide, hey, we want to be with each other. So make that decision, cut it off and do that. I'm just giving an example. It doesn't have to be. Or, you know, maybe being parents or something. You all know your situation and how it fits. So it could be work environment. It could be anything. But it's like you're trying to really seek knowledge on how to do this the right way how to figure this out so that you guys can be together and have it be organic natural with no bad karma attached right okay if this reading is resonating with you i encourage you to join me in the extended reading if not uh, i shall see you next time i love you anyway um and you know, extended, we're going to go, uh, just to remind you, we're going to go into the actions. They're going to take advice for you guys, sacred soulmate cards, romance angel. We'll get some more detail on what this person might do in the future, you know, so you can look for those things coming up. Okay. <clears throat> I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.